everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome my name is Laura and this is my channel Laura holidays where I do a lot of videos around mom content lifestyle sit down videos vlogs and today I am doing a video it's actually a gift guide for teachers <laughs> so my daughter is a year and a half she's not school aged yet but I was thinking about how I was going to approach this video and she does have daycare, she does go to dance classes where there's instructors, there's a lot of different people in her life where I could come up with gifts to make this apply to. But if you have school aged children, I definitely want you to check my description box below. There's going to be a link to show you how to see some other inspirational videos on this topic by some of my YouTube friends. We are doing a collaboration today with a bunch of different gift guide ideas for teachers. So you can definitely check us all out um, and get that gift brainstorming going. But, you know, like I said, my daughter's not in school yet. But a lot of these gifts are very applicable to all different people in your life. So I think that as you continue to watch, you'll definitely get some inspiration. Let me know in the comments which gift you would like to receive and which one you'd be more likely to give to a teacher in your life. For this particular video, every single gift that I'm showing you has something from the Dollar Tree with it because I wanted to do a lot of content around um, not spending outrageous amounts of money this Christmas season. I know my budget is not spectacularly large, <laughs> so I wanted to find ways to do really productive, meaningful, um, productive. I wanted to do content around gifts that people would really enjoy, but don't break the bank. So the Dollar Tree is an awesome store. I am obsessed. You get some really great things, and I can't wait to show you how I incorporated items from the Dollar Tree into this gift guide. So keep watching, and again, let me know in the comments which gift you like the best out of these, these options. <laughs> show is a sweet treat um, idea basically I have an oven mitt from the Dollar Tree so dollar oven mitt and this one is like a Christmas design I also picked up a solid red one because I thought that was just pretty and classic and can be used all year long just not just at Christmas time um, but inside of here I think it would be really sweet to put all the um, or not all, but some items that would be useful for baking Christmas cookies because tis the season. So in here I have, um, well first let me pull out this. So I would write a full recipe on here. So personalized touch, you could do a recipe for cookies that you bake every year as a tradition, something that you really like, or if you know that your teacher or somebody in your life is a fanatic about a certain flavor, you can give them a recipe to try out. I just think that is very thoughtful. And then inside, you kind of stuff this like a stocking. And for me, I just put um, different baking essentials. <laughs> Measuring spoons. Um, then I provided, these are hot cocoa M&Ms, which I'm really pumped about, never tried these. Um, but I'm gonna try them at some point. And then um, cookie cutters. So at the Dollar Tree, you can actually get four cookie cutters in a little bag like this. And you can either stuff it inside of your, you can stuff everything inside of your oven mitt, or I've seen how people will take like a cookie cutter and put ribbon and have it hang off of here. I think that's really cute. Also to go with the oven mitt, you can provide a tin for them to put their baked goods in. Um, Dollar Tree has tons of these. And I think these are good to just pick up anyway because anytime you go to somebody's house and you bring something, you don't have to worry about making sure you bring it back with you. It's a dollar, you know? <laughs> Not rolling my eyes at a dollar. Dollars add up, but you know what I'm saying. In the holidays, you can share the wealth. But this is a simple idea with a thoughtful touch to it that doesn't break the bank and I feel like it's useful because, you know, baking is important. So put any items that you would use for um, your special recipe that you're sharing and put it in a cute little package and it's really, it's under $10 and that is thoughtful, considerate, and delicious. Another idea, Dollar Tree inspired, I picked up this cute little container and inside what I put in it um, at the Dollar Tree at mine at least they have all these like movie snacks like 
all my favorite movie snacks are the ones that I picked up, but they have like tons of options. So I got some Swedish fish, I got some Sour Patch Kids, got M&Ms, and then I purchased some microwavable popcorn that I had inside of here. And you can either put like a DVD if you'd want, but I think what I'm going to do is, even though these are items that you might eat at home for an at-home movie night, I also picked up this little um, gift card box. It's tin. And I would put in a gift card. So I think, um, I think what would be cute for here is like a gift card to your local movie theater. Or you can buy like the movie tickets so that um, they can go and enjoy an experience. But any type of gift card I think is thoughtful. So um, if, you know, for food, restaurant, for takeout, so they can have like a dinner and a movie at home, like whatever. I just think that putting an activity together like this is thoughtful and it's not, not expensive at all, um, but it's an experience. So that is gift idea number two. So also on the realm of being practical, um, so Dollar Tree has a bunch of different gift card holders that are really cute. This one is a sparkly red package. It has a ribbon on it. You don't even need to wrap anything. You just put your gift card in here, which is awesome. I know some people are hesitant about just giving a gift card. I wanted to share my perspective because I don't know if it's because I'm an adult. No, no I'm not. Let me take that back. I don't know when this happened, but I used to hate giving gift cards to people because I felt like they'd know exactly how much I spent on them and that I didn't put a lot of thought into it and whatnot. So I was always uneasy about gift cards. But let me tell you, I now love receiving gift cards. I appreciate it. Going out to a store is like a nice experience for me. Being a mom, um, <laughs> being able to have a little bit of me time and not have to worry or feel guilty about spending money. I appreciate gift cards. Please don't ever, you know, underestimate the value of a gift card. It's more than just a card. It is a way for a mom to get out and enjoy. <laughs> so I, um, but I understand that sometimes you know, you want to add a little something extra to a gift card. So that's why these ideas um, have a little something attached to a gift card that you can add the value of your choice. So a gift card and a little something idea. These are just Tupperware. Being on the practical side, I picked up some Tupperware. When I think of teachers, I think of them bringing their own lunch to school. I think of them sharing their, you know, the fridge and the faculty room or whatever. Um, and these are just easy, uh, put your leftovers in it or whatever you're bringing to lunch, label it, toss it out if you have to, or if it gets stolen, you won't be heartbroken because they're, you know, they're given to you, they're, they're useful. Dollar Tree has different brands too, like this is a Rubbermaid. This is sure fresh, red, green, whatever your flavor. I uh, always buy some and lose them or use them or whatever. So um, this is part one. You can put it in a gift bag, but then get um, one of these awesome gift card holders. And what I would do is I would put a gift card in here for a grocery store. A company I used to work for around Thanksgiving would always give us a $25 gift card to the grocery store. And I was so appreciative of that because the holidays are expensive, baking supplies can add up easily, very expensive, different meals, you're entertaining, you're doing all these things, so like a gift card to a grocery store, you know it's going to get used, you know it'll be appreciated, so why not give it to a teacher? I think that's an awesome gift. I would love to receive that, so if you want to put it with something else, you can do these little containers. <laughs> it's different. I don't know if people really give these out as Christmas gifts, but I know I'd appreciate it. I'm always looking for containers to put food in and you know I always seem to have like half of it so I seem to have like the body but no lid or the lid and no container you know so why not give some more you can never have too many of these and a gift card to the grocery store is awesome so a fourth idea for you guys um, I know that teachers have long days with crazy kids they need some coffee they need some energy so at the taller tree they have a ton of different mugs they all have different sayings they're really cute and festive this one says tis the season to be jolly <laughs> and what i would do with this is i would either put like a bag of candy in it 
because I feel like teachers always have candy in their desk drawer for like emergency purposes if you just need some chocolate. So help a teacher out with some chocolate. And then I'd pick up a box of Keurig coffee um, because I feel like teachers always have access to a Keurig in their teacher's room or faculty room or whatever the room is that they eat lunch in. <laughs> so I'd grab one of those. Um, you can put this all together really sweet. Or if you'd like, you know, with the coffee mug, you can always put in a Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks gift card. I go to Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks like every day. That adds up. I know that a lot of people will be giving those type of gift cards, but honestly, you can never have too much because you need some caffeine to get through the day sometimes. So just, it's appreciated. <laughs> And my last Dollar Tree inspired gift idea that I want to share with you is, well, how do I put this? Depending on how chaotic your child is, that will determine what you want to put in this bad boy. So this is awesome. This is a wine holder, <laughs> a wine bottle bag, and it's sequins and it does this. Ooh, I love this. For a dollar, I think that's so awesome. So this is like the gift bag. So you can put a nice bottle of wine. If your child is crazy, you might want to put a bottle of tequila because you know they're drinking margaritas at night to get through the day that they just had. <laughs> just kidding, your kids are angels. These teachers don't need to drink ever. But, um, you know, this is definitely know your audience. You probably don't want to bring alcohol into a school. Um, but if you, like for me, I have a nanny that I could easily bring this to and she could store it away out of, you know, sight. <laughs> Drink in the closet. Just kidding. So this wine bag, I think it's really pretty. Again, know your audience. You might not want to bring this to your second grade teacher and walk by the principal's office with some booze. But um, this is an awesome, awesome little bag. You can put a water bottle in here. How awesome is that? You can get one of those really nice like Camelback water bottles or um, I don't know. There's so many great sustainable water options and you can use this awesome bag. It doesn't need to just be for wine. But if you do like wine and who doesn't like wine, some people don't like wine, but a lot of people do. So if you do a wine bottle as a gift, at Dollar Tree. They have a ton of wine glasses that I picked up this sleigh all day. My camera doesn't want to zoom in on it, but trust me, this says sleigh all day and they have different sayings, a bunch of glasses, so there's a lot of options. So yeah, I, I hope this video might have given you some ideas, some inspiration. If not, you can check out my friends who will definitely give you some inspiration. If it did, awesome, let me know which ones you liked in the comments. But then you can also check out my friends who posted more so you can continue to be inspired. If you go see any of these other ladies, let them know that I sent you in their comments. And thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching. And I'm going to have more holiday content coming out there. So please subscribe if you haven't already. There's a nice little bell, silver bell like the holiday song in the corner of my YouTube page if you click that you'll be notified every time I upload and I am figuring out my upload schedule so if I'm figuring out my upload schedule now it's kind of all over the place because I am a full-time working mom um, and this is a little side hobby of mine that I love so I upload as often as I can but long story short I don't have a strict schedule yet but if you click that little bell you'll be notified every time I upload anyway thank you so much for watching and let me know what you got your teachers for Christmas because these are just some ideas and I'm always up for more ideas and if you shop at Dollar Tree, holla! I love cost savings. I love gifts that you don't know how inexpensive they were. That's like the best thing, like going shopping and getting something super on sale, showing it off, feeling like a million bucks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to end this here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.